Hey, what's going on? The celebrity health expert, Obi, here. I want to talk to you about will Tylenol cause autism in pregnant women? Everybody is talking about this topic. This should never be politicized. Health should never be politicized. Look at the studies. That's the bottom line. The studies, the studies, the studies. There was a 2024 review study looked at 46 studies, 46. And it showed that half of the studies showed there was minimal risk, okay? Minimal risk with autism and Tylenol. And the other half showed no risk, okay? No risk. So let's actually read the analysis of this 2024 review study that looked at over 46 studies with regards to Tylenol and pregnant women. So this is what the review quoted analysis, this is what, this, this is what it's saying. Our analysis demonstrated evidence consistent with an association between exposure to acetaminophen during pregnancy and optimism through observations, limitations preclude definitive causation. Okay, so let's say that again. Our analysis demonstrated evidence consistent with an association between exposure to acetaminophen during pregnancy and autism through observations, limitations preclude definitive causation. There's no casual link to Tylenol and autism. Further research is needed to determine casuality. There you go. Okay, there you go. There's no link whatsoever, all right? And more research needs to be done over a period of time to be able to link the two, all right? So any woman that is pregnant that is going through some pain, taking Tylenol is not going to cause autism. There just isn't enough science to validate that, okay? And I think we need to understand the difference between anecdotal evidence and empirical evidence. Anecdotal is an observation, an experience, word of mouth. So just because someone had word of mouth of an experience or a reaction or some symptoms that happened, that, that's, not, that's, not, uh, that's not a gold standard study, all right? That's not gold standard study. And there's a difference between anecdotal versus empirical evidence. Empirical evidence is an actual study tested, all right? So random control trial, gold standard, gold standard study. So I think that that's what we have to just, uh, most people can't d differentiate between uh, a gold standard study and an observational you know, study, you know what I mean? So I think that's probably the issue in our society and we have to just make sure that, you know, the studies are the ex people that are experts refer to the experts, refer to the doctors when it comes to something like this. For any woman that is pregnant, uh, if you're going through pain, refer to your doctor. All right. Refer to your OBGYN. All right. With regards to that. But there's no studies out there that, that there's no there's no studies out there that that links autism to peop, women that are pregnant, all right? But I also would say to be mindful as far as how much Tylenol you do take, because the maximum daily dosage, I believe, is between 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams daily. That's the maximum, all right? So just be mindful, because if you take too much Tylenol, whether you're pregnant or not, it can cause uh, liver issues and cause kidney issues and cause jaundice, it can cause internal bleeding, it can cause um, uh, insomnia, it can cause, um, it can cause a lot of health issues, a lot of health issues internal, it can also also cause organ failure. So it is important, regardless whether you're pregnant or not, to be mindful of the amount of Tylenol you do take and don't take too much of it, all right? Because anytime you take too much of Tylenol, it is bad, period, right? And if you're in pain, you don't want to start to overdose something uh, or take too much of it where now all of a sudden you're in the ER uh, because you're having organ failure or, or internal bleeding or liver failure or kidney failure. So be mindful of how much Tylenol you take. I think that is very, very important. But women that are pregnant should not be afraid to take it for fear that it might cause autism in their you know, for their unborn baby. There's just not, there's not any, there's not enough studies there um, that have been done, all that have been reviewed that just, it doesn't link, it doesn't link, there's no linkage between autism 
and taking Tylenol. And that's, that's science. Follow the science, don't follow the pseudoscience. That's what I would tell you as a health and wellness expert. I hope this video helps you. For anybody that has any interest in any of my uh, body sculpting programs, weight loss coaching programs, fat loss coaching programs, click on the link on the description. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. I hope this helps you to debunk this whole Tylenol and optimism thing, which seems to be a big, everybody's talking about it. And, you know, this thing should always be apolitical. No politics when it comes to your health. Bottom line. Take care.